what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Kai It's Limitless And we back with another one And we talking about NLE Chopper He is upset that he was left off the complex 20 for 20 rapper list Which is the top 20 rappers that are in their 20s And you know NLE Chopper isn't the only person who feel like they got snubbed We had Lil Wayne speak about you know how he felt about getting let out of the Super Bowl halftime show, you know. First of all, I want to say forgive me for uh, forgive me for the delay, um, the delay on you know, just the delay. I want to say uh, I had to first of all I had to get strength, I had to get strength enough to do this without breaking. Um, I must say thank you. I must say thank you to every voice every opinion, all the care, all the love and the support out there is your your words turn into to arms and, and held me up when when I try to fall back. Um that hurt. Hurt a lot. You know what I'm talking about, it hurt a whole lot. Um I blame myself for not being mentally prepared for a letdown. And for just automatically mentally putting myself in that position like somebody told me that was my position. So I blame myself for that. But I thought that was nothing, you know, I thought that was nothing better than that, that, that spot and that stage and that platform in my city. And um, so it hurt. It hurt a whole lot. Um, but y'all, y'all are fucking amazing. It made me feel like shit not getting this this opportunity. And when I felt like shit, you guys reminded me that I ain't shit without y'all. And and. That's an amazing reality. So, like I said, it broke me, and I'm just trying to put me back together, but my God, have you all helped me. Thanks to all my peers, my friends, my family, my homies on sports television, everybody repping me, I really appreciate that. I really do. I feel like I let all of y'all down by not getting that opportunity. But I'm working on me and I'm working. So thank you. So these days, you know, artists are really vocal with social media and everything. And when they feel like they got snubbed, they get straight on online, right? So let's check out the list and see if, you know, he deserves to be on that list. And, you know, we could talk about that in the comments as well. So number 20 was Cash Cobain, right? Uh, You know, I could already put him right there. You know, I would have put NLE Chopper over uh, Cash Cobain because he's pretty fresh, right? He's pretty new in the game. But I guess this is like trying to give newer artists some exposure, right? So Cash Cobain... Then they uh, give an explanation, right? They say why they're on this list. Because he is essentially the architect of the new subgenre of rap. I can see that. Then they said why he's not higher on the list. He still has work to do if he wants to be recognized primarily as a rapper. You know, yeah, he does a lot of R&B kind of stuff, right? Then we got Jack Harlow at number 19. Why they're on this list. He's released one of the most memorable and successful rap singles of the last 12 months. You know, I think we got to look more than just the last 12 months, right? If we're talking about the most successful or the up and coming artists in their 20s, they said why he's not higher on this list. He has been oddly inactive this year, which hurts his placement on the list. So I guess this list is very, you know, temporary and it seems to be more so about who's hot this year versus, you know, the best rappers in their 20s. So we got Boss Man D'Lo. And they said he's the breakout street rapper of the year. I could see that. Then we got Baby King. While he's on this list, he's supremely get the rapper, song creator, and producer. Not mad with that. NBA Youngboy. 
after all of these years, he still has some passion from passionate hip hop fans. Right, okay, NB Young Boy. He's been around. They got Sexy Red at number 15. While she's on his list, she has undeniable charisma and the ability to get people talking. Then we got 14 VZ. He's technically a gifted rapper who made a great album recently. Then you got, got Dosi. She just dropped the album. She just dropped a legitimate album of the year contender. There's a lot of time for her to do more damage. Okay, never heard of her. Ken Carson, okay. Uh, we got Lil Uzi Vert at number 11. Wow, Lil Uzi, that's an aged artist. So this isn't just about, you know, like who's underrated kind of artist. They got Lil Uzi at number 11. Then you got 10, Chief Keef. Wow, man, you know, it feels like Chief Keef been around for so long, but, you know, he started rapping at 16. They said why he's not higher on the list. He's still mostly a cult legend, but he hasn't had a hit in a number of years. Then we got number nine, Lil Baby. He's had a rough couple of years, but he's getting his groove back thanks to guest verses. Yeah, you know, Lil Baby, Amner got his career saved by Central C, right, with the band for band. Okay, we got Lil Baby at number seven, Lil Yachty at number eight. They said why he's not higher on the list. His last album, Bad Camo with Blake, with, with James Blake was somewhat disappointing. You know, yeah, you know, Lil Yachty isn't really an album kind of guy, right? You know, he can make these jingles and that's been his career. That's been his strong point in his whole career, right? You know, he is able to make a catchy song, right? He, and he's a good writer, too. Then we got number seven, Glorilla. Glorilla's pretty hot. We got six. Number six, Lotto. Okay, shout out to Lotto. Number five, Yeet. Okay. Uh, he, they said why he's on the list. He's one of the most unique rappers in the industry boasting a, a cult fan base that adores him they said why he's not high on the list he has to break out of his dystopian bubble to move up on his list dystopian bubble okay well i guess they're saying he's not very uh versatile right he's kind of locked into his own lane number four megan the stallion she's been pretty consistent with dropping hits okay number three central c Wow, he's high up on the list, number three. He's a UK rapper who's been able to garner significant crossover success in the United States. That's very early to get so high on that list over, you know, a lot of those people, right? With Central C, I think he needs a little bit more hits. I wouldn't have put him in number three, but you know, he is the biggest uh, person from the UK that's really blown up over here. We don't really see that, you know, besides 21 Savage, right? But we didn't know he was from the UK when he, uh, when he blew up, right? So we got number two, Doja Cat. I wouldn't even consider Doja Cat a rapper, right? So they said Doja is legitimate superstar with a large profile so she can successfully headline Coachella. Okay, number one, Playboy Cardi. He has slowly crafted one of the greatest modern rap catalogs with influencing a new class of up-and-coming rappers. You know, I could see that, you know, Playboy Cardi's influence is pretty big, but is he number one, though? I don't know about that. So check out NLE Chopper upset that he wasn't on this list at all. Yeah. Whoever made that complex list, I just want to let you know something. Man. Yo, I need to go do rock and roll or some other shit. See, I've been tucking my tail. I've been trying to be more positive. I've been trying to be more of a life for these people. Child got me fucked up. Y'all keep playing on me. Whoever made that motherfucking list, you had better go do R&B or some shit. Because y'all got me fucked up. And I ain't discrediting nobody on that motherfucking list. No way, shape, form. But you should have did 21 motherfuckers instead of 20 if you wanted to leave me off that motherfucker. You feel me? October, I'm going to make y'all motherfuckers feel me. After September, I'm going to get through this slut season shit. I'm going to get this shit off my chair. And after that, I'm back on you motherfucking ass because y'all got me fucked up. For real. On the real. I swear to God. 21, 18 platinum. Six or seven gold. Y'all got me fucked up. Go look at the go look at the certifications. Let me know who beating me, bro. Respectfully, the only nigga that's really that's really respectfully, the only nigga that's really 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 ahead in that space is Young Boy. I'm 21, bro. Y'all made a list about in a 20s, nigga. I'm one year in my 20s. Ain't nobody did what I did one year in my 20s. Who did what I did at 21, my nigga? Sold out shows everywhere, nigga. I'm in Canada right now, in Newfoundland. I don't even know what the fuck I'm in, nigga. Got a sold out show tonight, nigga. 5,600, nigga. Talk to me tonight, nigga. Y'all industry mad at a young nigga like me because I don't play y'all games. I go outside of it and I'm still successful. All praise to the most high. I am the son of the sun, nigga. I'm the son of the sun, nigga. Fuck you mean, man. Y'all playing, man. Stop playing with me, man. 
I'm gonna make y'all respect this shit one way or the other. I've been trying to hold back. I've been trying to beat it. I've been trying to smile at you motherfuckers, but y'all got me fucked up, bro. No cow. That shit from the end, bro. Oh God, I don't let y'all joke. I let y'all have y'all little, little jokes and shit. But I'm on y'all ass, bro. And y'all know I'm on y'all ass. Y'all know. Let's keep it a hundred. Y'all know who been dominating this whole year in the male atmosphere. Come on, man. Don't play with me, man. Sold out show everywhere. America, Europe, Australia, Canada, nigga. Been doing this shit three, four, five years, nigga. CEO, nigga. Boss, nigga. First deal, eight mil, nigga. Hmm? They did new shit fool, y'all, bro. Stop playing on me, bro. Hey, listen, whoever did that company list, listen, bro, go do rock and roll. Go do gospel or something, nigga. Rap ain't your territory, homie. If you forgetting the real, nigga. Playing on me, nigga. I'm 21, bro. Talking about a 20 list. I'm 21. I'm one year in. How you leave the most influential nigga off? In the last five years. Everybody want that deal like NLE Chop, nigga. What? Y'all waking up a monster, fool. Stop playing on me, bro. Stop playing on me, man. In a dangerous game, man. Y'all playing a dangerous game, bro. I be trying to chew pee, bro. I be trying to hide me from you people. Y'all playing a dangerous game. Now, now y'all done pissed the nigga off. I been pissed off all year for real. But now y'all don't really put the cherry on top of that motherfucker. Y'all don't want to give me my props? Don't no rapper want to give me my props? Y'all don't want to give me my props? Going once, going twice. I need to hear something. Don't nobody want to fight for a nigga? Don't nobody want to fight for a nigga? Don't nobody want to fight for the young nigga? Don't nobody want to uh, advocate for the young nigga? It ain't no big brothers out here. It ain't no uncles. Where the OGs at, huh? The youngest, girl. The youngest doing it, for real. 21. Y'all ain't going to fight for him. Y'all gonna let him down? My bit, bro. Bit, my nigga. Bit, my nigga. Bit. 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 Bit, bitch. Bit on my mama. Bit, nigga. You wanna bit, nigga? You wanna bit? You wanna bet on the one? You wanna bet? Show you motherfuckers better than I can tell y'all. I swear to God. You wanna bet? You wanna fucking bet me? Y'all playing, man. Stop playing with me, man. And ain't nobody fighting for a nigga. I gotta wake up every day fight for myself. I gotta wake up every day and keep shit between me and God. I gotta took it. I gotta take it on the chin. I gotta get the dirt and I gotta get the shit thrown on me every day, cuz. And I gotta wake up and that. Ex civilized, so I don't scare nobody. I gotta act mature, so I don't scare nobody. Man, y'all got me fucked up. <laughs> y'all lad got me fucked up, man. No cap, bro. October, it is up, man. Cause I ain't dick pulling, and I ain't around her trying to be buddy, 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 buddy with you, motherfuckers. Don't nobody feel the need to stick their neck out for me. When y'all know how hard a nigga work. That's the most disrespectful thing you can do to a man. Make him feel unappreciated. But it's all good. It's all good because I got hurt by my goddamn self. I'm still hurt by my goddamn self. Only person that really got my motherfucking back is my motherfucking mammy, nigga. And my pops, and my brother, nigga. And the most high, nigga. But we watching, y'all. We seeing this shit real time. We seeing what really going on. 100, though. <laughs> 100. Let me go make a TikTok or something. So let me know what you think in the comment box. You know, where do you think that NLE Chopper... 
belonged on that list. And I do think he deserved to be on the list, you know? He's been very consistent, you know, even though he's always had a song that's been out, that's been a hit, you know, that's been bubbling pretty much since he came out. You know, NLE Chopper gets a lot of criticism because he goes through these different phases. You know, one time he was doing the whole spiritual, uh, spiritual chopper and everything. So he's been through different phases, but guess what? He managed to keep himself relevant through the years, right? So let me know what you think in the comment box. You know, how important are these lists? You know, they sometimes, these big corporations, they're a little bit out of touch, right? You know, like look at Double XL freshman list. You know, they don't get it right as much as they used to. And it seems like every year it goes on, people care less and less about a Double XL, about like what a magazine has to say about rappers, right? So let me know what y'all think in the comment box. Appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Like the video, subscribe, and we gone.